Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to teach you how to make a bookshelf in Valheim. So you might be asking, why don't you just select the bookshelf command and make a bookshelf that way? Well, at this point in time in Valheim there is no bookshelf, you have to actually make your own. And so far these are the popular designs that I've seen slash come up with myself. I'm a fan of the one in the middle here as well as the one on the right. I'm not a fan of this one though which is uh, one that I've seen made online in YouTube videos a few times. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make each of these and explain a little bit about it. So first thing we want to start with is a one meter pole like this. And before you do anything else, you're going to want to snap in your back. And then you snap in one of your bottom pieces. And this next part here, you're going to have to zoom in and you're going to have to do like a really, really close little stuff like that line them up as best you can sometimes you can't get them perfect that usually is okay if you can't get them perfect one of these bookshelves is crooked can you tell probably not and then we're going to do this side after we snap in the bottom two meter poles and what we need to do is check our floor to make sure our floor is not sticking out which it does not seem like it is going to do notice how this panel here is a little bit behind the uh the wood it's so this doesn't happen. See how it's protruding right here? You can see the floor sticking out. That is not pretty looking at all. And you, as you can see on these, the floor is not sticking out, which makes it much more prettier. It's because the shelf is a little bit indent, which is actually how real bookshelves are made. So next thing we're going to do is actually this is where it can branch off. You can do another one meter pole and then another one meter pole up top, which makes it look a little crooked for some reason. It looks like the top pole is sticking out to the right or you can do a two meter pole off the one meter pole which in my opinion looks a lot better there these are your comparisons notice that this top is a little different too and it's making it look a little uglier so we're going to do the two meter poles now after you put in one row of two meter poles you're going to want to snap in your backs again so snap in your second back and your third back and then we're going to do more two meter poles now notice how the floors are not protruding out. Perfect. You also want to make sure you get your floors correct because if you do them like this, sometimes they'll not only protrude out, but notice how the crack is right like in the middle of your bookshelf. That's not good either. And you might notice too, it's like that for this bookshelf. You can see the cracks, at least on the top row. This bookshelf is like a, a example of what not to do. So there you go. And it's also worth noting that sometimes if you have the thing sticking out like this, you don't have to restart from scratch. If one side is sticking out and the other side isn't, you can sometimes snap it into the other side and make it not stick out. You just need to make sure it snaps into the board and not the back. Mine is still sticking out because it likes to be a pain in the butt. Not much we can actually do about that unless we want to destroy the whole bookshelf and start over. That is the downside of this all. Let me see if that's if the back is sticking out. Not really. Sometimes that just randomly happens. And yes, it is unfortunate when it does happen. So now, as for building the top, you don't have to go into debug mode, but you will have to build stairs if uh, you do it this way. You do two meter beams across the top, and then you're going to do a one meter beam and pretty much stick another one meter beam inside the other one meter beam. So just like this, one in the back and then one in the front. And just like that, you got your bookshelf. Now, if you're wondering, well, look at these books. These look pretty cool. How'd you do that? What we did is, or what I did rather, is you got your vertical item stands. And you place these essentially you make sure it's up to you how much space you want to use. I personally don't like the little uh, nodule sticking out on the right hand side. So we just basically slam that in there and then we make sure the nodule is hidden with each one that we do. It's up to you if you would like to put a space between books like this. And then you just keep stacking them up like this. But that is how you would make a book stand with actual books on it like you see here up to you which one you would like to do you can do decor like this 
You can do uh, like a pantry potion combination. You can do like a weapon shelf slash uh, healing potions combination, or you can do an actual bookshelf for pure vanity. Completely up to you, and that's all there is to it. Hopefully, if you guys enjoyed this video, you give it a like, comment, and uh, subscribe to me for more Valheim content. I'm going to be doing more decoration guides, as you can see here. I've been experimenting and working on different guy, uh, different decor ideas, and I got a lot coming for you guys in the near future. Anyway, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to me for future content. I'll see you guys around the next video. Peace.